Okay. All right. Hi, y'all. Here's the game. Love, 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 love. Truth, 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 truth. <laughs> truth is easy or more difficult to say. All right. All right. Here's the situation. The Apostles' teaching. The Apostles' teaching. The oral tradition from Jesus to the Apostles. It's not written down in an outline form in the Bible. People say they follow the Bible. They only follow the Bible. They only follow the Word of God. Well, the Word of God is not absolutely explicit on what the teachings are. It really isn't. It's not absolutely explicit. So let's look at this again really fast. The home, families together, communion group. That is the new holy of holies. There's no new, more animal sacrifice. This is the most powerful core of the church right here. The home family together communion group is the new holy of holies with honesty times. We come together for communion. We close the doors. We are the special people that are willing to die for Jesus. And in the writings it says, when you come together, admit your faults and do not go to prayer or worship or do nice teaching if you have a troubled conscience inside. So the job of the shepherd, the pastor, is to make sure everybody checks their conscience in a wonderful way, a happy way, a cheerful way, a joyful way. Hey, we don't have to put on the mask of the world. We can be completely open about everything that's going on in our hearts. Power from on high. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. See, the two gifts of Jesus are the apostles' teaching and the Holy Spirit, the power from on high, the comforter. Okay, from the communion group, there's power from on high on everybody, and there's a daily outreach team. Some of the people in the group, my gosh, they got so many healings going on, we need to keep them out there. Don't worry about how many spoons there are in the kitchen. Get them back out on the street. They're healing people. There's transformation of souls going on. They come back. We keep the keep everything going partly to keep the keep the people going out, going out, going out, going out. The use of the fabric. You got to study that. Head covering. It's really cool. Use of the fabric. It's a supernatural help. Single people's power ministry. That's a missing thing that Jesus actually taught the widows and the, the anointed singles. The widows and virgins ministry. Look up what the early Christians believed about the ministry of widows and virgins. What the early Christians believed about the ministry of widows and virgins. The order of daily prayer. Especially the single people. Keep the order of daily prayer. And the corporate fasting, everybody fasts on Wednesdays and Fridays. That's what Jesus taught. He taught that. He taught that the apostles. Wednesdays and Fridays for everybody until he comes back. You do what you can. It's not like a strict rule of what you're fasting from. Meetings led by the Holy Spirit in the home, in the home. Meetings led by the Holy Spirit. Not a three-part sermon in a Greek lecture hall. Not in a Greek sermon in an institutional lecture hall. Not a talking head. Rather, a communion group. It is written, 1 Corinthians 14, verses 25 to 27. When you guys come together, each one of you has a psalm, a hymn, a word of prophecy, a teaching. Every one of you have a contribution. And you can actually hear it collectively from the Holy Spirit. Foster and adoption is essential. We are called to be sheltering children, working as hard as we can to make sure that we're shelter sheltering children somehow, even if it's not in our own personal home, we're teamed up with the people who are doing that. Critical evaluation of excess and riches. Oh my gosh, we're the richest, we're the richest people in the world. We're the most comfortable people in the world. And we're under attack from Satan to be lazy in our doctrines and lazy in our spiritual lives and underneath is the power of seven demons worse. 
which is lazy spirituality with sins blended into it. Critical evaluation of excess and riches and sharing of assets and teamwork. Okay, this is outlined in James and it's a great warning against, in the, against the rich. And then there's church discipline. Without the communion group, the first level of church discipline for the early Christians for 300 years, all of these things were in place. Everybody for 300 years had all these things going. What's the church discipline? If the elder hears that you come, you know, in a time when you're admitting your faults cheerfully, joyfully, like, okay, I had problems with this. Okay, again, I had problems with this. Okay, again, I had problems with this. Praise God. Well, the elder will say to you, okay, I'm going to ask you to sit out of communion for two weeks to see if that grieves the Holy Spirit and uh, grieves the, uh, you know, the, 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 see if that blocks the troubling spirit to see if your hunger for being restored to the communion becomes greater than that particular trouble that you keep having. The church discipline has two layers. One is gentle and the other is extreme. It's just like a papa saying, okay, no dessert until you mow the lawn. Come on, it's time to mow the lawn. You didn't mow the lawn. No dessert. Get the, get the work done first. So the, the whole thing of punishment in church discipline is just being deprived of communion and missing the power of that holy of holies reality. You're actually kept out of the Holy of Holies for a little while. You're still in fellowship. You're still in the congregation. You're doing everything with everybody. But the elder says, hey, guess what? <coughs> I'm going to have you stay out of the Holy of Holies for a couple weeks. And we're going to see how that does. See if that has an effect. It's not a condemnation. It's an empowerment. It's a chance to burn and get closer to God. Okay, so that is part of the apostles' teaching. There's more points, but that's the that's the basic ones that, that as I toured the church for 24 years and observed and observed and observed and observed in all these different kinds of churches, Messianic, Jewish, Catholic, ancient lineage, sacramental, apostolic succession, super evangelical, Father, Son, and Holy Bible, Bible information, Bible information, Charismatic, Pentecostal, Miracle Signs and Wonders, Social Gospel, Care for the People, Care for the People, Care for the People, Universalist, Humanist, Separate Holiness, Communal, Plain Folks, Anabaptist, Mennonite, Plain Folks, all as I spent considerable amounts of time in each of these environments, I saw the beautiful things the glorious things that are here, the amazing things that are here, the wonderful things that are here, the beautiful things that are being done here, the wisdom that's there, and the uh, power here and here. And all these places I saw wonderful things, but I also pe saw people all caught up in their little banner, like, oh, we're so right, we're so right. And the Messiah was all of those things. He's very Jewish. He's, he selected 12 guys who started the church tradition. He was always going out, going out, going out, and saying, it is written. He was totally separate, even from the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the good guys. He was separate from all the ordinary spiritual behavior. And he was really caring about people, caring about people. And he was totally filled with supernatural powers. He was anointed. Charis. But these, these points, these points are his teachings. And that, this sh round shape in, it is, it represents like the, the, the early Christians or the people who are following both the Holy Spirit and the apostles' teachings together because you're right with Messiah. Now, this is the atmosphere of the communion group. You can still go to the evangelical church for the big afternoon Sunday party. But man, 
on on Sunday at sunrise. Oh my gosh, you're you're here in your intimate place. A couple other days of the week, you're here in the intimate place. You can go to any of the big box churches and keep supporting them and doing things with them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And actually, you can cross pollinate your spiritual spirit experience and learn from these guys and learn from those guys and not be all prejudiced and angry because they're doing a few things wrong or they're teaching a few things wrong. You be the communion group. You create the communion group. That's the goal. That's what we're working on here. That's our focus here. That's what we need to be. That's in 61 years of my life. No one ever regularly invited me into a communion group with good cheer, happiness, and honesty times, and worship. Everything preceded by, is your conscience clear? We're not going into God's presence if anyone's conscience is not clear. In 1 Corinthians 11, verse 28, it says, if you do not examine yourselves, meaning in your public assembly, in your little church gathering, in your home gathering, if you do not examine yourselves and admit to one another the areas where there's trouble, then many have gotten sick and died because they're not discerning the body and blood of Yeshua. What you're taking in at communion time is actually a judgment against yourself. You're taking in the purity of Christ and you should purify yourself. If your pastor, if your pastor is never inviting you to purify yourself in the home, admitting faults, that pastor is not caring enough for your soul. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 28, examine yourselves. And that doesn't mean just examine yourselves and go confess to God in your closet. No, we are an organism. We're a collective organism. And our problems are solved because we are diverse types of people and we understand how to, like, how to care for one another. So we need to check our consciences and then admit to one another. If we're not doing that, we are going to be spiritually dead and we're going to be fake, fake, fake. And we may be hearing prophetic words that sound really good that feel like, oh, wow, I wish that could happen. I could escape and have something nice happening in my life. And, and an actual spirit will actually prophesy to you a thing that you want really bad but that is a sidetrack from the whole atmosphere of Messiah. Oh, Jesus, please, 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 please help them understand swiftly. Please help them understand swiftly to cluster up into communion groups because if all the electricity stops in the country if something totally weird happens with the government, everybody in all these big box churches needs to have this Home, families together, communion group in is the new holy of holies. Each person needs to understand that with honesty times and all these other things as the place, the goodies that Jesus taught. These are the goodies that Jesus taught. These are the goodies that keep us spiritually safe and allow us to have more miracle signs and wonders. If you really about care about souls, then you care about all of those things that Jesus taught. Power of God, goodness of God, presence of God, inspiration of God, motivation of God, God of love and kindness, sweet one, glorious God, Holy Spirit, fill, 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 fill us up to overflowing, fill us up to overflowing. Fill us up to overflowing and with all of your goodness to bless others while we live. <laughs>